Time for some TikTok tea. Let's just get right to it. This story is a little confusing, so I'm going to try to explain it the best that I can. But I've been watching this go on TikTok for a couple weeks, and it's gone really viral, and it's kind of fascinating to me. So I'm going to start with Nicole Head. She started a GoFundMe and a donation drive on TikTok to save her family farm. She says this farm has been in her family for 125 years. Apparently, her father is getting a divorce, and the soon-to-be ex wants her cut of the farm, which equals $250,000. Her dad didn't have the money to buy her out, so he put two parcels, both parcels at the farm, up for auction, and Nicola said he had no choice. He had to do this. He was forced to do it. And now she wants to save the farm and keep it in the family. Now, here's what I think is just a little bit sketchy. This hasn't been a working farm in years. Apparently, the land is leased to other farmers so they can farm it. Even the barn was leased out to other farmers to put their cows in there. So I find that kind of odd. Um... Maybe if they'd have kept it a working farm, they could have bought the spouse out. Now, apparently there was more background on the divorce when this first started, but that's been deleted. So we don't really know the full story there. I am kind of surprised how many people have made mean comments about the um, woman her dad is divorcing because we don't know the story. And yeah, when you get divorced, you're entitled to a cut of the property. That's just life. Like I said, maybe if they'd have kept that a working farm, they could have uh, had the money to buy her out. It's just odd to me to have a big farm like that and nobody working it. So, she started, you know, her drive to get donations to save her family farm. So, along comes our second woman. We don't know her real name because she doesn't want anybody to know it because she's taking a lot of heat. People are doxing her. So I really don't blame her for not using her real name. She started hashtag take the farm. This has rubbed some people the wrong way, but some people totally agree with her. Now she says when this whole thing first started, she looked at Nicole's page and Nicole had a lot of TikToks about being a Republican a lot of TikToks about how horrible Democrats are and how Democrats are always wanting a handout. So this lady says Nicole is a hypocrite because now she wants a handout to save her family farm. So this is why she started hashtag take the farm. She says that she wants to do all these great things with the property, like divide it up between all her donators which those of us that live in the real world know that's not doable. She's kind of naive to think you would be able to do that. Her other thoughts were having an LBGTQ counseling center, some other great ideas. But again, I don't think she understands that you can't buy a property, rural property or any property really, and just plop down whatever you want on it. That's just not how real life works. So while I think she's maybe got a big heart, I don't think these ideas are probably doable and she probably needs to do some research. So just to make this story even juicier, then we have Janelle Eason from Team Mom jump into the fray. She jumps in and says she's going to help Nicole save her farm. She says she's doing it because she's also a property owner and, well, we all know her political affiliation. So she says she feels for Nicole and she's going to help her save her farm and that she has over 2 million followers, I don't know, on Instagram or something, and they're all going to band together to save her farm. And I will say, once Janelle jumped in there, her donations skyrocketed. So, say what you want, but Janelle's still got some pull out there. I mean, this story is just crazy to me. You can't write stuff like this. You really can't. 
Um, what shocks me too is how much money both of them have had donated. Apparently, it's pretty easy on TikTok to get people to donate money to you. I see it every day. It always just... I'm like, dang, look at all these money these people get donated. Um, last time I checked, Nicole had like over 143000 And the second lady had over 82000 It's kind of hard to know exact totals because they're getting donations on all different venues like PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, GoFundMe. So every couple days they give totals. So, um, I don't know. It looks like right now Nicole's winning the battle. But uh, also, I wanted, the second lady has said that Nicole's neighbors have contacted her, encouraging her to keep going and to bid and win the farm because they don't like Nicole's family and that her family has been very hard to live next to and they want them out. Now, that's allegedly. I kind of don't believe this story because I lived on a farm. I've been around farmers all my life. I kind of know how they work. And I just can't see a farmer doing that. I did just, I kind of don't believe that story. But it could be true. I don't know. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think one or two neighboring farms are going to bid and win this farm. Because that's how it works out in the country. That's what usually always happens. You know, it could be that two neighbors got together and said, you buy that tract and I'll buy this tract. They generally don't like neighboring property to go to just anybody. And they like to keep it in a farming community. So I think, um, I truly believe that's what's going to happen. I don't really think any of them contacted her. You know, farmers hold things close to the vest. And the, normally, the last thing you want to do in an auction situation is announce to the world that you're going to bid. Because then you start a bidding war. And see, this is what Nicole has now found out. I suspect the neighboring farms are going to be quiet. And they will show up to the auction bid and get the property. That's my prediction. <laughs> So, I, I mean, there are so many TikToks about this on TikTok. It's just going crazy on there. I will say, um, Nicole has also gotten some big TikTok names on her side that are doing TikToks, trying to get donations for her. So, she's probably having an easier time. I'm really anxious to see what you guys think. What do you think of this whole mess? It's kind of crazy. Please keep it clean in the comments. Don't please. I know this has a political slant to it, but let's not get too political. I don't want YouTube to take it down. Let's um, just be careful with your comments so they don't get deleted or hidden. And I uh, can't wait to see what you guys think of this mess. And have a wonderful day.